still undefeated in conference, got the winning streak, got, got to be a, another good weekend uh, for you guys. Yeah, any win is great, and especially some really good teams, both Dominguez Hills and, and LA were tough. Um, we won we won those games in you know kind of different ways, um, and yeah, I thought that the team really showed some resiliency, especially on Saturday when we got down, and we're down for most of the game, and, and really showed some resolve to come back. You guys haven't had a lot of success uh, at Chico, but you guys did have that uh, huge win last year at their place. Uh, talk about uh, the, how it's difficult to, to play over there. It seems like they always got a good team, but just uh, talk about the uh, playing at Chico. Um, any any game between Chico and Humboldt's always intense, and, and it's a big rivalry game for for us. And and uh, you know they had our number over there. We were we were happy to get the one last year and kind of get that. Uh, um, first one and hopefully we can continue on this year but we know that it doesn't matter you know what what teams there are it, every year it's 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 a battle it's a fight and, and they play very well at home Foster I mean <clears throat> showing that you guys know how to recruit she's making you guys look tough <laughs> but uh, did they have her come in and just uh, the way she's playing especially uh, right now you just talk about uh, her play um, Ajay is a, you know, I, I talked about a little bit last week that she's kind of the difference maker, that we have a lot of similar players back this year, a lot of the same players back, and, and Ajay is, is kind of the, the key difference on, in our first group, and, and then um, has just really come in and, and um, produced, you know, both on the, on the glass and uh, in, the, in the points column. Um, I'm sure you watch video of Chico and just kind of talk about what you've seen from that. Um, they're pretty young. It's it's a, a very guard oriented team with uh, Hannah Womack as, as the pivotal scorer scorer for them, um, and then they um, you know have a bunch of other guards that kind of rotate in and, and can shoot it a little bit and, and can attack a little bit and pretty balanced after her. So it's 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 very tough to stop her. She can score off the dribble and and, and is a great three point shooter. So. I think it's all about trying to, to slow down their guard play um, while keeping them off the free throw line. You know, their, their posts are more forward-like and, and athletic, and so sometimes that's a, a tough matchup. Yeah. Coach, did you know how good Foster was when you recruited her? Actually, Skip found her, and, and we knew she was pretty good. <laughs> um, we, you, know, you never know what kind of impact they're going to make in that first year. But uh, we knew she was a difference maker. We had to beg and plead, and we appreciate that Dan Collin was allowed us to get her here. And, and um, she was recruited by a ton of people in our conference, so we knew we didn't want to play against her. And so we were very happy to, to be able to get her. Uh, I thought DJ, my broadcast partner, said something interesting in the Cal State LA game. He said, you know, uh, there's no more surprising people for the Lumberjacks, and with that comes a responsibility. You're going to get everyone's best mm -hmm. shot every Saturday night, I think that, or every night. And I think that was apparent Saturday night, at least from where I sat. It didn't look like the Lady Jacks were up to the task mm -hmm. at the beginning of that game and um, obviously willed home a victory. But have you stressed your players that, uh, you know, from here on out, you're getting everyone's best crack? We do. We, you know, obviously we talk about it a lot. Um, we have that target on our back now, and, and um, it's going to be everybody's A game every night. We have to make sure we bring it. And, and even from day one, even before the success that we've had recently, um, we've talked about this conference typically comes down to the team that can bring it every night and um, you know we've seen some really good teams in the past that, that have you know done that and, and been nationally ranked in our conference and it's because they have good players but also because they can bring it and be focused and practice they can be they're focused and shoot around they're ready to go night in and night out and so with our conference is so tough from top to bottom that anybody could win on any given night and so it, it comes down to who who's going to show that um, focus and, and that drive every night. Undefeated in conference, ten and one, all is good, and everything's roses. Having that said, what have you guys noticed that the, our weaknesses and where you need to get better? Uh, in watching film, we didn't defend with a lot of urgency on Saturday, and, and we allowed LA to score, you know, at will. It seemed like to start the game, and and then they built that cushion, and then we kind of stayed there for for the remainder of the uh, half, and and then into the second half, and. And so we, we know we, we can't do that. We can't just show up and, and think that – we call it hope you miss defense. We can't play that. We need to, to play to uh, get stops, to force tough shots. And, and when we do that, we're, we're a pretty tough team to uh, score on. But, um, you know, as was evident in that game, we were, we were happy that we, we – we hope that we could learn a lesson without uh, suffering a loss. 
Now, Coach Kenders was elected not to talk of the rivalry or really get into mm -hmm. the whole Chico Humble thing. And, you know, the longer you hear it humbled, I know it's not quite the story it was, but it's still humble, Chico, and you have your history. And they're down, so they're going to really want a piece of HSU. What will the Chico Humble talk be with your team, or will there be any? Um, we haven't talked a lot about them yet, but you know it's early in the week. We come uh, actually tomorrow, and, and then the, the next day, the next few practices, you know, we start talking about it a little bit. I think our seniors and, and people that have been around a lot, you know, Danny Gomer is one that's played here for four years, and um, she knows about the the um, you know, storied games and the heated rivalry a little bit more. And so, you know, we do have a lot of new faces, and to them, it's kind of just another game. And, and um, so we talk it up a little bit. We, we don't want to get too emotional going into the game. We want to kind of keep a level head and, and play our style. But uh, it, anytime the two teams face off, it's, all, off, it's always a tough one.